Yo, what up, YouTube? It's man getting at y'all with a little gameplay commentary. And this time I got game five of the full VIP game. And this game is horrible. I only went like two and two, I think. And this match was over with in the matchmaking menu. Even though we playing against a team of four, they were pretty damn bad. But um, anyway, I didn't make this video to talk about that. I want to talk about fanboys for a minute. Just because somebody says something about your favorite game doesn't need, mean you need to get all butthurt about it. And the reason I'm saying this is because I saw Zappa... Uh, you know, he has his Twitter account set up like me that when he leaves a comment on a YouTube video, it goes to his Twitter timeline. And he was arguing with some Halo fanboys, you know. He thinks the game is ass. He's entitled to his opinion. I really never really got into Halo. I'm pretty sure the game had problems, just like all these games have problems. So, you know, he's entitled to this to his opinion. And uh, all the Halo fanboys come out the closet. They get all mad and get all butthurt about, you know, him expressing his opinion. I'm just like... These fucking people on YouTube, they just, they need to, so a lot of these kids just really need to get a life. Like, I was watching Sandy Ravage live stream, and it's just, uh, like, two or three people that kept constantly joining his match in progress. Like, what is the point of playing with a YouTube commentator? Do you really think that's a fucking celebrity? Is your life that bad that you think playing in a lobby with one of these fucking commentators is the end-all, be-all? And I had some dumbass send me a fucking stupid-ass tweet on Twitter. Talking about, uh, I was told if if I tweeted you, you will play with me in Gears of War 3. See what you care about your fans. I don't even play this fucking game. If you follow me on Twitter for more than five seconds, you'll know that. I haven't played Gears of War 3 in like three or four days. I don't play this shit. Like I said in the last video I made, I think the whole multiplayer is fucking garbage. It babysits you. I don't like games that babysit you. Um... You know, I'll play Call of Duty because, you know, you die so fast on it, even though the games babysit you. Um, I can still kill you with not much of a problem, but well, on this game, I try not to use the you know the OP shit like the the uh, the uh, the retro lens. I can't use that shit, and uh, and uh, so I can't use the sawed off either. I guess you gotta be a fucking straight up scrub to use that shit. I can't use either of those guns, but I tell you what, the scrubs can damn sure use it. It never ceases to amaze me. I see people that would have like a 0 0.4, 0 0.5 KD in Gears One or Gears Two, rocking around with 1.4 or 1.5s right now. But you know. I wish these fanboys would stop getting all butthurt about people's opinions. You know, that's just what it is. It's opinion. And last time I checked, I live in the United States of America, and I can have an opinion on anything I fucking wanted to, you know. But uh, that's just my little rant for that little topic. You know, I, I just wish. Look at it. They changed it so you couldn't throw. Look at it. I tried to throw my smoke twice. I'm like, what the fuck? I forgot to mention that in another video. When you try to throw your smoke and roll at the same time on this game, it doesn't let you do it for some other reason. They changed that in the Gears of War 3. And another thing I see people doing, that uh, they doing from Gears 2 to Gears 3, they they constantly rolling while they rolling running. And all that does is slow you down. It doesn't speed you up like it did on Gears of War 2. But, you know, there's two quick things I could point out right there. I point blank that dude, but nothing happened. Well, you know, this game, it works most of the time. I ain't gonna even lie. Like, uh... The shotgun is still suspect as shit. I had a clip for y'all. I guess I accidentally deleted it. Well, I point blank the dude on Old Town, and he didn't die. I turned away from him. He turned around and killed me with a saw off. I point blanked him and turned away from him because I thought I would kill him with that shot. And he turned around and killed me with a saw off, but I was playing on a Mexican connection. So, you know, whatever. You still have UK servers. You still have Mexican uh, servers. And a lot of the, another quick thing I want to talk about. I'm tired of all these folks from the fucking UK Sending the Xbox to the United States is a reason that you have regional filters. I do not want to play on your UK ass host. I don't want to play on a fucking European connection. There's nothing against them. I just don't like playing on bad ping, you know. And that's what was going on before Title Update 6. At least Title Update 6 did fix that in Gears of War 2. To where uh, after Title Update 6, I didn't play on a single European connection after that. Now, granted, I didn't play the game nearly as much as I did before Title Update 6. But I played on American host and a couple of Mexican hosts. Uh, all the time, so and some Canadian hosts, but it was always on the continental uh, North America. I always played on the connection that was on the continental North America. Look at this dude right here, he's so fucking bad. I should have died. Anybody better right there would have killed me, but you know, that's what you were playing against. Even though a lot of these people that play this game are fucking terrible, this game still babysits the shit out of people, and I don't like it. And uh, no, I don't play the game, so if you send me an invite, I'm probably not gonna join your lobby. And if you don't like that, too bad, you know. Whenever they fix all this shit, then I'll start back playing the game. Um, other than that, I'm going to keep playing Horde. And I'm going to keep playing Beast Mode. And I'm going to play other games. Uh, you know, I'm not one that, that plays one game. I hope y'all enjoyed that throwback gaming session that I posted with my last video because y'all will get more of those. I play a wide variety of games. I got so many arcade games. Uh, the next throwback gaming session, well, I'm not going to tell y'all what it is. Y'all will see it.
you know, I got a lot of those videos. I'm, a, I'm pr like Red Sox even said in the comment. I should, I might start doing it once a week. You know, just having a big VIP. We all play an arcade game. Me and Red Sox probably gonna play some NBA Jam in the next day or so. I need to go get some Microsoft points so I can buy it. But uh, you know, uh, I don't have to play this game, man. I got other games to play. The only reason I hadn't sold it was because I already put three hundred dollars in this shit. I would have been sold this game a long time ago. I do not. I despise the multiplayer on this game. But uh, quickly before I get out of here, I want to talk about something real quick. I'm tired of all these motherfuckers posting these goddamn Lancer only, Hammer vs. only videos on YouTube with a whole team. They got a full squad of people, and all they doing is fucking Lancer and Hammer vs. You know, it was a reason in Gears of War 2 that I used the Hammer vs. like that all the time because it worked most of the time. You know, the shotgun didn't work most of the time in that game, but the Hammer vs. and the Lancer worked. Damn near all the time. So, you know, the hit registration was better than that. You have no excuse to run around all the time using your helmet versus your Lancer. Unless you're bad. You know, you're bad with the Nash uh, or something like that. So, I'm tired of seeing it. Don't watch it anymore. Um, if somebody rushes you, please don't run away and use a fucking Lancer helmet versus. You like a fucking scrub when you do it. But anyway, man, um, that's just my little video. Stop fanboy. Stop going crazy when people have an opinion about a game. It's not the end of the world. It's just their opinion. If you like the game, continue to play the game. Who gives a fuck about what somebody else thinks? Don't care about what I think about a game. Anyway, I'll get it y'all next one. Peace.